Well, there was no Google Street View back in 1845 when Sir John Franklin set out on his fourth voyage of exploration trying to find the Northwest Passage. Franklin, along with the crew of 128 men, never made it home. Exactly what happened to them and how they died has haunted historians. Now, as Mike Drolet reports, researchers have uncovered new clues that debunk a popular theory. It's a mystery that continues to baffle and intrigue. 129 men on two ships set out to discover a way through the Northwest Passage and then just disappeared in the winter of 1845. Makes pretty interesting reading. Little from Sir John Franklin's expedition has ever been found. A few written messages indicating the ships had become stuck in the ice and 30 years ago a camp with bones from three graves. Much of what we know comes from those bones, evidence of disease, gnaw marks that indicate cannibalism, and extreme levels of lead that could have caused insanity. The long-believed theory was that the lead poisoning came from food tins. But using new technology, researchers from Western University and Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York found consistent levels throughout the bones. And you would have expected in the middle part of the bone, it would have taken 20 years to get there. So they must have been exposed to lead, probably from a similar source, throughout all of their lives. And make no mistake, there was a lot of it. More than 10 times what you'd find in a person today. How are they poisoned? That's still a mystery. They didn't have the appreciation for lead poisoning that we have. And there was lead everywhere. Lead piping, lead tins, lead solder. Knowing that, we can definitively say they didn't suddenly get lead poisoning on the expedition and go crazy. If they were crazy, they were before they set sail. With a hundred seamen, he sailed away. So that always leaves the inevitable question, what's next? Well, Inuit's story suggests another camp with nine more bodies exists. But as of yet, no one has found it or the two ships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror. Solving the mystery takes the mystery out, and as human beings, we love mystery. It's one of the reasons we do science. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.